Hello, teacher Jackie here wanting to encourage applicants or current teachers to don't get overwhelmed. It is very easy to approach this as an applicant, very overwhelmed at everything, especially if you're watching other YouTube videos and you're like, I have to be like that. And the application process, they'll email you, and then you're like, I have to have this done in a few days, and I have to have all this stuff bought and printed or whatever. Don't get overwhelmed. Approach this as, you know what? I need this gig. I need some money. Plus, I like to teach, or I like kids, or whatever. Honestly, for me, not a fan of teaching, not a fan of, I almost have kids, but you know what I'm saying. It's, um, I don't know, my background is, is in corporate work. So I have enjoyed this gig very much because of the money. And that helps motivate me. And um, after you finally get booked, you don't get confident, I won't say that, but after you get a rhythm and then after you get someone who rebooked you, you're like, yay, I have my first regular. I will say this, my first regular started on a Sunday. I opened up Sundays all of a sudden because I wanted more bookings. And then um, I think I stopped a Sunday one week and she never came back. When I opened them back up, I have to cough, excuse me. Still getting over my darn flu. So, as a teacher, please, please, please be encouraged to take a day off. As I just said, I now do not work Sundays. I do have one Sunday. Is that this week? Let me look over here on my calendar. Nope, I'm off this Sunday. But next week, they have an incentive week. And you have to have so many slots to do to get an extra 20 seven twenty dollars if I open up three more slots I can get an extra seven dollars I'm kind of like I'm not so sure that's worth it I'm not going to the 20 is good so like just now I had a regular I'm actually supposed to be well I'm not supposed to be I have a class right now but it got canceled so I'm getting paid to do this video with you um don't get overwhelmed. Like, again, find some stuff. If you don't have kids, I will say it's probably harder, but I have kids. So we happen to have these like little Easter eggs that I have. I actually um, use them in class. I used to, our kids um, school virtually with their teachers, just like I do here with the teaching English, China. So I have some things like 3D shapes. So some of that stuff I already have in the house. We actually bought this for our kids, never used it with our kids, but I use it for VIP kid all the time. It's pretty cool. Same with the posters um, to encourage my kids. If you don't have kids, it may be a little harder. I will say I bought this specifically for VIP kid at a dollar, uh, tr not tree, but Dollar City, it's called, but it wasn't a dollar. It was maybe two. <laughs> so overall, don't get overwhelmed. I just had a class. My hair was crazy. So I was brushing my hair in class, and the mom came on screen. I was so freaked out. I thought, oh, my God, she's going to say, no, no brushing hair in class. <laughs> but she actually goes, teacher, we can't hear you. <laughs> I had muted to cough and forgot to unmute. And uh, I have a mute button here, and I have a mute button on my screen. Well, that's pretty much it today. I just want to encourage applicants, don't get overwhelmed. Talk to your referring teacher or message me. I, I, it's okay if I'm not your referring teacher. Um, hey, you know what? I need some lipstick. On the screen, I don't, I don't like lipstick, but it looks better on screen. There we go. Tease. Makes my tea look whiter and they're not. I got coffee and tea stain, mostly tea. I drink water in class. I know they say don't eat and drink in class. I don't eat in class. I don't go, yeah, student. Blah, blah, blah. You know, and I don't drink all the time. I 
when my student and I have a cough, we go, you know, <coughs> I'll cough or he'll cough and, uh, or she will. And I go, oh, it's okay to drink water. Like in my class, you can drink water you know, and then I'll do a sip. I don't usually get like a, I have this too, but I don't usually do that. Straw's better because I'm, you know, it looks better. So I just pour this in here. So it's so fun. The kid I just had, he um, has a cough. So he has his bottle now because I said, you can drink in my class. You know, they're used to a very strict classroom. Some students, when you get those first trials, they're like this literally. And then you're like circle but the parents have them in a chair sitting really far away like this, like they're, uh, you know, on a witness stand. <laughs> Seriously. And I'm like, hey, you know, comes, you know, then they have to scoot the kid up and they're like, oh, here, give, we're giving the kid the mouse or we're letting the kid touch the screen. Yes, this is a VIP kid classroom. We have fun. We learn. We do proper pronunciation. I had a student yesterday. He said, uh after almost every word, especially after a D, because someone must have taught him duh, 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 because he said like word, duh. and I said, he was uh, 13, I'm like word, word, d, word, d. and you have to make sure you don't teach your kids uh, like Emma, Essa, Tia, it's just, They'll say it. They will say it when they pronounce a word. So anyway, those of us now in level five and six, we're having to correct all that <laughs> because people let it go. They're saying the word, but I don't want them to sound like a tourist. I call it a tourist. All right. That's it. Don't get overwhelmed. My classroom, we say cheers. Once my uh, student has a glass of water and he drinks or I drink and we drink together, I go, cheers, because I know we teach each other high five, high five. Well, why not? <laughs> cheers, you know? This is America. Actually, I'm not in America right now, but you know what I'm saying? This is supposed to be the, uh, um, they called it the American English classroom stuff. Okay, make sure I'm not late for class. <laughs> I have three more today, yay. Don't get overwhelmed. Again, as I had in the previous uh, video, that I stopped prepping, but I do look at the slides. Please know I'm not like that. I am a lazy teacher, a lazy, not overwhelmed anymore teacher. I used to spend hours looking at all the slides, but I think that was beneficial in the first weeks, months, because I didn't know the system. I didn't understand the curriculum yet. I didn't understand the flow and they've been changing it. Not like a whole bunch, just a little bit here and there. And if you're an educator, this would under, you, you will understand it way faster than me. And uh, if you're, uh, you know, again, love kids, love elementary uh, education, this is totally for you. So if you're interested, you know, click my link below. If you're already a teacher, message me. I know the last video, someone gave me some great tips and tricks on their um, prep. Again, I don't spend hours anymore prepping. You know, I just need a simple yes and no, um, a simple happy, you know. I love my popsicle sticks and my, just print it out, print it out, tape it. That's it. Don't, don't get overwhelmed. All right. No, 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 not allowed. <laughs> Have fun and get paid <laughs> and go back to bed. All right. I better get going. Let me see. Yeah. Bye.